As we looked at uh, the need actually for new, new power after the war, the opportunity to use nuclear was very, very prevalent and that the skills that we had learned during the war in aircraft design and in building tanks and manufacturing tanks was also core skills to the way that uh, the nuclear reactor would be designed and built. In 1953, the government gave the go-ahead to the UK and the world's first nuclear power station that was going to be built at Calder Hall, adjacent to the Windscale Works in West Cumbria. In 1947, Windscale was built to deliver plutonium uh, for the government and the logic of actually having it in West Cumbria was that Calder Hall could call on the design expertise, staff and the systems and the management to help them in the construction of the work. Because of the delocation of Calder Hall we had a lot of work done off site, so off site fabrication and manufacturing, which is a key requirement of today, was even being used back in 1953. After the first reactor was built in by 55, two more followed in the same location in 57 and 59, and were all opened officially by the Queen. That was inspirational to me in becoming a civil engineer. From the age of 12, I was doing surveying and technical and engineering drawing at school. When I came to 16, I looked towards work and a local building company offered me a position as a trainee engineer. They put me through college and then actually put me towards taking a degree in civil engineering. The course I actually chose was a four-year sandwich degree, so I had a number of six-month placements in industry. Whilst I was in industry, one of the placements I had was with UKAEA, the United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority, who were the builders of Calder Hall, and they had the opportunity to sit with and listen and rub shoulders with the people who actually did the design and construction back in 1953. A couple of years later in 1978 and was actually in the same office where I had actually done my initial uh, student training. The heritage of using a nuclear power station is that it's, it's a cleaner environment in which to work. So where in the 1950s a lot of power stations were driven by coal with thousands of trains and tons of coal arriving at, at the power stations, that didn't happen at the Calder, they didn't need it, they just loaded the graphite into the reactor systems. What comes out of Calder uh, was actually some plutonium that ended up as the uh, main um, process fuel to be taken actually to Dune Ray for the fast reactor technology that was being developed in the uh, early 60s. Calder Hall was officially closed down in 2003 and now the uh, cooling towers have been uh, blown up, dismantled, taken away. I stand today at the Institution of Civil Engineers headquarters in London and I look around and the, these are our members of the future. They're all interested in, in what we're doing. For the youngsters of today, there are many facets to civil engineering. I talk about the nuclear industry. You will already have heard about High Speed 1, High Speed 2 and the great railway projects and also the development of Highways England as projects move on in infrastructure. In my own area, we have something called the Northern Powerhouse, 
the Northern Power House is dependent on infrastructure projects being delivered by civil engineers. I think uh, if you want to be part of that, you need to come and see us. <laughs>